tonight. Ballot counting continues in five states as President Trump's possible paths to victory narrow. Joe Biden addressing the nation from his hometown in Wilmington, Delaware. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is there with the latest on the race for the White House. In our top story at 10. The end of a week of uncertainty with a winner still not declared in this historic presidential election. Joe Biden trying to bring calm to an anxious nation. Democracy is sometimes messy. It sometimes requires a little patience as well. The former vice president's lead growing in some battleground states as ballot counting continues, including in Pennsylvania, where Biden is currently ahead. If he wins those 20 electoral votes, he will be the next president. If President Donald Trump wins Pennsylvania, he would still have to win several other states to secure a second term. The president tweeting ahead of Biden's speech, Joe Biden should not wrongfully claim the office of the president. I could make that claim also. Legal proceedings are just now beginning. The president's team has already filed multiple lawsuits as he baselessly questions the integrity of this election, making unsubstantiated claims of fraud. They're trying to rig an election. And we can't let that happen. Election officials across the country adamantly dispute the president's assertions. We have not seen anything so widespread that it could potentially affect the outcomes. While some, including the president, continue to spew baseless claims of fraud, claims for which his team has not produced one iota of evidence, what we have seen here in Philadelphia is democracy, pure and simple. And Joe Biden says his team plans to fight any legal challenges and make sure every lawful ballot is counted. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Wilmington, Delaware.